Make your characters real by describing not just what they see, but what they taste, hear, smell, and touch. Welcome to Jen's Writing World. If you have a story to tell, you are in the right place. Let's do it 10 minutes at a time. Yep, it's going to be another quickie intro because we've already discussed senses one time this month, but it's always good to review it. Whatever sense you used last time when you wrote, why not pick a different one? The last time I talked about the smell of the new world a lot, but now my characters are underwater and while smell might matter, I want them to listen. I want them to hear the water lapping on the shore and the little pitter-patter as the trilobites crawl along the bottom of the sea. There are probably other things they can hear too, and possibly even the voices of the villain. We'll have to see. But we're not going to neglect our senses today. Instead, as you write, make sure that you bring the characters to life by using all five senses, or at least one or two. Let's get writing. All right, do you know which sense you're gonna add to your story today? Since my kids are underwater, I think I'm going to use hearing. We have the timer here, it's set for 10 minutes. So let's get writing. Three, two, one, start.
chewy. I want you guys to keep writing. We have four minutes left. I have to pause. Well, I guess it's too late now. The cats spilled their water. Lovely. I'm gonna ignore it. This is what writing is. This is my 10 minutes. This is your 10 minutes. Keep going. No, okay, I have no choice. Keep writing. Hi, would you please not do that? I know, don't spill the water. It's too late, but don't spill the water. Okay, time is up. I apologize for the interruptions. My cat's food is like three feet behind me. And at first I could hear him. This is Chewy. He likes to eat the food off the floor and he loves to kind of get under the mat that the food sits on. And the water bowl is there too. And he, so he tips over the water bowl to get under the mat to get the food. Yes, I have crazy cats. And 
I thought I was going to have to stop him, but then it was too late, so I just kept writing. I hope you did too. That was a very interesting 10 minutes of writing. I hope my cats didn't disturb you in your writing. That Chewy, he certainly knows how to make a mess. I got 10 minutes of writing done, even though I thought I was going to have to stop. I hope that you don't let messes and interruptions stop your writing too. If you did have a good day of writing, interrupted or not, I hope you will hit the subscribe button down below, hit the little bell for more notifications. As always, a like is most appreciated. And share with your friends so that we can all write, hopefully without any interruption. And I will say, the more people we invite and the more people write, the more you'll let the interruptions just float away. They can be dealt with after 10 minutes is up. Today's quote is by Mary Buckman. She wrote a book called A Writer's Guide to Active Setting. Not one I've read yet, but it's on my list now. And this is what she said. The use of light can show time change when writing transitions. Instead of telling the reader it's 20 minutes later, show them by the cast of late afternoon shadows, the glare of the sun directly overhead, the quieting of the birds as dusk falls. Notice what that requires? That requires using all your senses so that you can notice the passage of time. So long from Jen's writing world. Until next time, write, write, write.